Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smartyrl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smartyrl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smartyrl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here you have information about online seminars and study manuals for exams PFM IFM and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smartyrl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smartyrl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today, for exam P on probability. An insurance policy will reimburse only one claim per year. For a random policyholder, there is a 30%, I'm sorry, 20% probability of no loss in the next year, in which case the claim amount is zero. If a loss occurs in the next year, the claim amount is normally distributed with mean 1000 and standard deviation 400. Calculate the median claim amount in the next year for a random policyholder. So here's a solution. The claim amount distribution is a mixed distribution with 20% weight in a degenerate distribution, a point mass at zero. So uh, probability distribution which hits zero with probability one. But that one is assigned 20% weight in the mixture and 80% weight in the normal distribution as described in the problem. Admittedly, that normal distribution has possibly negative values, which does not make any sense, but this is the problem we are given to solve, and the neg negative values happen with extremely low probabilities because the value of zero is two and a half standard deviations away from the mean of the normal distribution. So very, very, very small probability of zero, uh, below zero values. Uh, to get to the median from 20% probability weight in the zero payment, the remaining 30% probability has to come from the normal distribution. Note that this 30% corresponds to the 0.3 divided by 0.8 because there's a 0.8 weight in the normal distribution, so that's 0.375 probability. So the 37.5th percentile of the normal distribution. Now let's write psi for the cumulative distribution function of a standard normal distribution. From the normal distribution table, phi of 0.31 is 0.6217, and phi of, I'm sorry, phi, not psi, I, I think I said psi, but no, phi, and phi of 0.32 is 0.6255. Using normal interpolation, we approximate that phi of 0.625 is approximately 0.3187. And the reason why we're looking for, uh, for 0.625 is because 1 minus 0.375 is 0.625. And so what we just established means that the 37.5th percentile, I should say, of the standard normal distribution is at negative 0.3187. So we conclude that the median of the mixed distribution is the 37.5 percentile of the normal distribution with mean 1000 and standard deviation 400. And that's 1000 minus 0 0.3187 times 400. And that's approximately 872.52. Um, actually, it's with these numbers exactly that, 872.52, um, I think. It's exactly, but whatever it is, let's answer C. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself belongs to the Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.